To make our rice pudding we need a ovenproof dish. We want three tablespoons of short grain rice, one tablespoon of caster sugar, a knob of butter and either 50 ml or a pint of milk and nutmeg. Ideally if you have the whole nutmeg you can just grate over that's even better. So this is what we do. We just simply put three tablespoons of short grain rice into the dish. One tablespoon of caster sugar. Knob of butter. And then we're going to add in the milk. So 50 ml of milk. Sorry, 500 ml of milk. Will be much good with 50 ml. 500 ml of milk. Or a pint. And then we're going to heat this in a preheated oven at 150 degrees. That only just about fits in there, so hopefully it'll just about work. It's a bit of a small dish, but it's the only one I've got. Whoops, sorry about me leaning across there. And then all we're going to do now is stir that all together. I think I might put this on a baking tray because I think otherwise we might end up with it all going absolutely everywhere. So we mix all that up together nicely. And then we've got our ground nutmeg. And I'm just going to put a pinch, which is just a little, a little bit of a sprinkling. You can see that. Hopefully just a bit of a sprinkling. And then we'll put that in the uh, preheated oven, 150 degrees. It doesn't really matter whether it's conventional or fan. 150 on either of those settings is allegedly fine. As our oven proof dish is only a pint and it needs to be ideally a one and a half pint dish, uh, I've put it on a baking tray to stay, save any spillages. So now I'm going to pop that in the preheated oven 150 degrees, doesn't matter whether it's fan or conventional 150 degrees allegedly is fine and that'll go in for about uh, one and a half to two hours. I'd just check it after an hour and a half, but probably it'll need the full two hours. And after the first half an hour, just give it a stir to stir in the uh, butter, which will be melted by then. And uh, then hopefully you'll get the lovely nutmeggy crust on the uh, on the top. Ready to go out of the oven. That's now been on for about two hours, but probably an hour and three quarters would be. Perfect. That looks fab, all nicely cooked. If we come down, hopefully, we'll be able to see how the rice looks. There we are. This is quite a dense rice pudding. If you want one that's more milky with a little bit less rice, you can always add two tablespoons of the short grain rice and a little bit less sugar. This is quite a tasty but solid rice pudding but if you want a more milky rice pudding go for the uh, larger two pint oven proof dish which is there. So this time we add in our three tablespoons of uh, short grain rice, pudding rice, a tablespoon of caster sugar, one and a half point, points or 850ml of milk. I'm using pasteurised milk because this is the whole milk because somebody kindly gave me this. So points in total. And then nice normal butter. Then we'll mix all that up together just gently. 
and then we'll just sprinkle a bit of our uh, ground oops, nutmeg on the top, just a little gentle sprinkle. If you've got some fresh nutmeg that you can grate onto the thing, that's fine. That'll all go in quite nicely. Here we are. And we'll get another little bit of a swirl round just to mix the nutmeg over the top of the thing, and then we're going to put that into uh, a preheated oven on 150. Doesn't really matter whether it's 150 fan or 150 uh, conventional, but we'll put that on a top shelf and we leave it in for about one and three quarter two hours. Have a look at it after about one and three quarter hours, but probably be cooked after two. Bon appétit. Hi, there you are. I wonder where you've gone. Uh, we're just going to uh, put all that into a greased two-point oven-proof dish. Mix it all up together. And if you initially put it into a preheated oven at 150 degrees, doesn't matter whether it's a fan oven, centigrade, doesn't matter if it's a fan oven or conventional oven. If you set the timer initially for 30 minutes, then take it out and give it a stir to stir in the knob of butter, which will be melted by then, and then put it back into the oven for about another hour and a half, and it should all be perfectly cooked. And this uh, one in the two point two pint dish should be a little bit more milky whereas the one in the one pint dish is a little bit more solid a bit more possibly what you're used to from one of the plastic rice pudding containers you might buy off the supermarket shelves enjoy there they are excuse the state of the oven it's now ready to come out